Hey guys, welcome back to a new series called The Basics of Notes in Unreal Engine 4, in which I will obviously be going over and explaining all the basics of different nodes in the engine. And you can comment down below some requests of different nodes which you'd like explaining. So again, I'll go over the basics of what they are, what they do, and how to use them in your game in the best way possible. So in this episode, we're going to be covering a flip-flop. So essentially, a flip-flop is a switch to toggle between two different states. And this is great if you want to toggle something on or off on one simple button press, instead of having to hold it down, so hold left shift to run, you can toggle it to just press it, and it means you don't have to use two different buttons. So if you press left shift to run, then you press a different button to stop. So it just allows you to do everything you want in one simple key press. So again, I'll use the example of sprinting. You create an action mapping for sprinting, and you come off the pressed value and get a flip-flop. Then off of A, you would set max walk speed to 1200 or whatever you like, so that you are running. And off of B, set it back to the default for your character, which is usually 600. And so what this does is that when you press the action mapping for sprinting, which is normally shift, it would go into the flip-flop. And if it's the first time, it would go off the A state, which would be to run, and then the second time you press it, it'll go into the flip-flop, go with B, which would then be to stop running again. So again, it goes between values of A and B, and it just toggles between those two different lines of code for each state. So flip-flop toggles between two different values. The first time it's called it, the output A is executed. The second time it calls output B is executed. Third A, fourth B, and it constantly goes between these two outputs, which again is great. And so there is one third output on the flip-flop, which is a boolean of is A, which as it sounds, sets a boolean to true or false, depending on if the state A is active or not. So when I say state, I also mean output, basically A or B. So if A has just been executed, is A will be set to true, as it is A, and if B has just been executed, then it will be false. And so this is great for quickly checking which state is active or not, which output has just been executed. So for example, if the game wants to quickly know if the player is sprinting or not, or if it's crouching, or whatever you are toggling on and off, it can do that easily by just seeing which state has just been executed without having to check like your max walk speed or is crouching or anything like that. It doesn't need to go to an, an external variable or anything like that. It can just do it all in this same simple line of code. So I think that'll be it for this one. Like I said, these are gonna be quite quick. They're just explaining the basics of the nodes. So again, if you have any requests for certain nodes you want explaining, make sure to comment them down below. And if there's any way you think I can be improving these videos, also let me know down below. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.